What a day, what a day. Some days you have good ones, some days you have bad ones, but hey, I can't complain, man. Past nine days have been all green days for me. It's the first red day, you know, in over basically two weeks. So it's, it's okay, you know, you, you take these losses so you can appreciate those winners even more. But at the same time, you learn from these losses and, you know, try to correct these mistakes. You know, I can't have these big drawdowns like you see on this first trade right here. You know, some of these are very small, which that's the way I like them. If I'm having a loss, take a small loss and let the winners run. But when you don't have any winners, you know, you keep taking small losses, it adds up. With that said, let's go ahead and get into some of these losses and see what we can correct. All right, all right. So this first one we gonna check out is AEMD. You can see it closed yesterday at $2. It gapped up this morning and opened around 310. So it was a nice gap. We got our 200 period day moving average underneath us. We got the nine, the 50 and the 20, all these moving averages underneath us. So we got some support down here around this $260 or $2.69 area. So let's see where everything went wrong at. Pretty sure there's a clear example of what not to do. You, know, you can always find what not to do when you're trading. And from the jump, when I look at the chart, I see, hey, I entered at 369. That's a terrible entry. Never enter on big spikes like this at the top try to enter at the bottom you know bouncing off support so I should have had an entry around 339 but hey I didn't I got filled at 369 so with that said I should have kept I should have kept a tight stop I should have had a stop around 360 you know roughly 350 at least no no less than 359 uh, should have been my stop and knowing that I did not I did not do that my stop was down here at 352 uh, 351 to be exact so we got a push higher which was great I did not sell any of my position I should have sold half at the 10 cent or 20 cent mark either one I did not do that so very next thing that happens is it rolls over buyers start to take profits it rolls over and I get stopped out so that's how you lose a thousand dollars in less than 15 minutes not following your plan if the plan states keep a tight stop if you're going to buy at the top of spikes then keep a tight stop you know if, if the plan says hey buy off support down here look for the first candle to make a new high or in increase volume then hey here's your support area here's the next candle to make a new high here's the increased volume down here so you should be entering the trade at 351 no more than 351 if you don't get filled at 351 that means it left you so no need to chase it you know never chase and that's what i did i chased it didn't get filled to up here didn't take any profits right here and what happens it rolled back boom got stopped out easy easy thousand dollars in 15 minutes so let's look at aldx you know it's it's better to, to find out why you make a mistakes and correct them than just to turn a blind eye and act like they don't exist. You know, if you can correct your mistakes and become a better trader, then by all means do that. You know, really don't matter what profession you're in, wherever you, wherever you make mistakes at in your life, correct those mistakes and become a better individual. Second trade, we get our patent U-shaped bottom formation. We got to push down buyers and sellers be turn turn neutral so we get some support down here around this 634 635 area and then buyers take off and push the stock higher so my mistake i entered a trade right here at 667 thinking this portion was going to be the actual u however it continued to come over here so when i entered at 667 boom get a drop down and I get stopped out always look for which I guess I did not I should have waited to look for this high to be broken 674 which will be on this candle with increased volume 170,000 shares versus 
this candle with only 137,000 shares. So the trading plan, when you're entering a trade on the long side or the short side, look for the candle that makes a new high or a new low with increased volume. If you stick to those two principles, new high or new low, depending on which direction you're trading, look for that candle that has increased volume making a new high or new low that's where you enter you won't make this mistake so I cost myself the first trade I cost myself the second trade after that I'm done I can't keep trading you know I can't keep losing money I can't keep going back to the bank back into my account saying hey replenish replenish no so once you have you know two big drawdowns like that you got to call it a day step away from the computer step away from the market go do something else take your mind off of it and get back at it tomorrow you know don't worry about the spilled milk it's done it's over with clean it up get back on the horse continue to ride tomorrow and that's what i'll do we we'll go over this last swing trade which is snap which is uh a trade been holding since last week which is finally doing what we wanted to do which is go higher today we got a sell off this morning got this powerful U uh, v-shaped bottom you can see sellers pushed the uh, stock down buyer stepped in pushed it back higher this, this v-shape is a very strong buy signal so if snap can close around this 550 level will be great you know if it can close even up here to around this 570 level that'd be even better but we're gonna hold snap you know nope not past friday so friday be the last day so we'll see what it does now until friday but first target is right here at 1635 second target 17 dollars have my stop down here at 1498 we got the nine period moving average we're sitting on and we have a lot of resistance right here Look at these wicks. You got one, two, three, four. Sellers have stepped in and continue to press on top of this stock. So it's going to pop one way or the other. Either it's going to pop lower or it's going to pop high. In whichever direction it pops, you should see a lot of volume increase um, on that. Hopefully it'll pop in the direction I want, which is higher. Hit this first target. Uh, let me make a couple dollars off of it. Still holding 3,000 shares. So if it hits that first target then we will just go ahead and close out and let that be that you all continue to trade man continue to get better continue to look for better setups continue to look for better entries i'm the bearded trader this is the recap for september 12th freedom exists not to do what you like but having the right to do what you are